Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime. Uh, are you new to this channel? Hit that subscribe button, because if you do, from now through January 27th, new subscriber, one of you new subscribers will win $100 in cash! Woo, baby! $100! Oh, yeah! All right, folks, uh, besides that, for everyone else who's been subscribed this entire time, we are giving away three copies of Pokemon Legends Arceus. All you gotta do is head down into the description or the pinned comment to enter for that. Uh, click on the viral sweep link. All right, folks, we gotta get into this because... Whew, Grab your tinfoil hats. My, my, my tinfoil hat actually broke because this is my third recording of this video because I'm kind of an idiot sometimes. Um, so yeah, grab your tinfoil hats, grab your salt, back it up, be skeptical. I am not telling you this information is true. I am telling you that it's very interesting to think about. So warning, 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 potential spoiler information incoming, potential leaks, potential rumors, also, potential bullshit so let's talk about this by just bringing up the tweets right now come on come on editor what are you doing what do i pay you're right i don't pay you whatever come on all right so now what you're seeing is some tweets from samus hunter we'll talk about why we're talking about samus hunter again after i said i wouldn't for a while in a moment but let's just read these tweets and <laughs> We'll, we'll get go beyond this. Samus Hunter said, Hi, I hope you all had a great Christmas. Today, I wanted to provide you with a little update on Splatoon 3. In the plans present at the Splatoon 3 announcement, the game was internally scheduled for March around the 18th of the month. At the moment, I cannot tell if there are delays. The team is definitely working on post-launch updates, but they must be a, a quantity, such that in a case of new closures caused by COVID, the team can reorganize without having to slow down the release of new content, avoiding the situation that occurred with Animal Crossing New Horizons. In the case of the launch date remained unchanged, its announcement should come in early, as early as January, after the end of the holidays. Speaking of the game, an aspect to which they have worked on a lot is the online compared to 2. The game will take advantage of features included after its release, as the ability to send invitations to play. There will also be a system of private games via an ID code, allowing players who are not in the friends list to access them anyways. I know that several players have complained about the absence of a player replacement system in case of disconnection, but from what I understand, it will not be present. Now, that's all nice and dandy. March 18th sounds amazing. Obviously, uh, this whole idea of these additional online features, like that's really cool, being able to invite people to play, invite people off your friends list, not just make a room and wait for them, or obviously being able to create a, a, a room code, sort of kind of like a Mario Kart tournament code that you can invite anybody in. I think that's really cool, and it will allow me to play with all of you guys without having to necessarily, you know, have you on my friends list because like there's a limit on how many people I can add. So this is actually really great. This is great news for us live streaming Splatoon 3. Well, another insider came in and basically said hey, Samus Hunter's full of shit, at least when it comes to the release date. Here is what... Uh, you, you're making me look like an idiot now. Come on. All right, so here's Emily Rogers. You guys might have heard of her before. If not, she's just another person who has had inside information before. And she said... In direct response to Samus Hunter, not true. Splatoon 3 was always planned to be released closer around the summer, May to August. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that you should believe Emily Rogers or that you should believe Samus Hunter. Both have a track record of being right. Both have also gotten things wrong. Samus Hunter obviously were well known lately about things wrong. The 35th anniversary, you know, having new Zelda information at the Game Awards, wrong. Splatoon 3 tournament at E3 wrong but also right on a bunch of things throughout the year as well in fact she's really some new tweet basically bragging about all the things she's been right about in the last year it's cool whatever she's got a bunch of stuff right most of it's kind of minor stuff but still she's gotten some stuff right but she's also got some big swings and misses this year emily rogers isn't perfect either sure she nailed mario plus rabbit's kingdom battle that she called back in 2016 telling us that game exists and that mario is going to be shooting a gun and yeah she clearly had real information then but then also, like, swung and miss on Star Fox Racing that was supposedly coming from Retro Studios, at least as far as we're aware. People would just, like, give her the benefit of the doubt, oh, that game was canceled, or it was used to try to find out who's leaking information. And look, here's the thing. 
If these people are real insiders, information does change. We know this publicly. Release dates get pushed back. Um, you know, games get rebooted like Metroid Prime 4. So, like, yes, internal plans do change all the time. So if they have real internal information, games get canceled, patents don't get used, things happen, right? This is, like, wild that Switch Pro stuff blew up over the summer, but then we only got the OLED. We didn't get all the other stuff, which probably had some truth to it because plans change all the time. So, yes, I can give some benefit of the doubt for that but also i know jack shit look i know some video game developers but i don't know anyone who works for nintendo at all never met anyone at nintendo personally maybe bumped into a few treehouse people once in a while at e3 don't remember their names don't have any contact information and they probably have no idea who i am and if they did it's probably because they tuned in while i was covering e3 and they probably saw me doing some shots on the final day. And they're wondering how the hell this person has almost 80,000 subscribers while talking and looking like an idiot. And now, like, pretending I'm an assassin from Assassin's Creed wearing a Zelda attire. I Look, guys, I don't know anything. But I do like to speculate. And my personal feelings about Splatoon 3 and when it's going to come out is that it's going to come out in the summer. Not because Emily Rogers said so. Just the kind of game it is. It has that 90s aesthetic to it. And... As a 90s kid, summertime is really when that stuff shone the most. And that's basically my logic there. Otherwise, I don't really know what the hell it's going to come out. As for March, and I have to mention, Emily Rogers did mention this as well, that likely we could get a certain game in March, and I kind of agree with her. But I agree with her because I was already thinking this, not because she said it. So I don't want to give Emily Rogers credit for this opinion I'm about to throw out there. Yes, we do have Project Triangle Strategy already confirmed for early March. Because it's early March, I think there is an open slot for another game on Switch in mid to late March. And what will that game be? Well, I think it has a high chance of being Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Why? Because we already have an ESRB rating for the game, which heavily suggests it's coming out soon. So, sure, Pokemon Legends Arceus is coming up. We don't know. It could be a February game. It could be March. It could be April. I have no idea. I'm just speculating that it might be an end of fiscal year game. Now, it's not a system selling type game. Kirby usually isn't. So I could see why maybe they'd rather have Splatoon 3 in that March slot and maybe put Kirby in February or April. That's entirely possible, by the way. I can't rule that out. I just think Kirby probably makes the most sense. Nintendo's already selling out because they can't make enough units in the first place. So it's not like they need to worry about having a massive system seller. And besides, Pokemon Legend Arceus is in January. Does Nintendo really need anything else in the first three months? Probably not. But that also means it's a good time to release maybe some of their smaller, more experimental titles, such as the partnership with Square Enix for Project Triangle Strategy, and obviously Kirby and the Forgotten Land. So again, lots of speculation. I don't know anything. So be skeptical. Now, why did I choose to cover this today? couple things one news is slow right now right it always slows down around the holiday as things ramp up people get more excited and there's all these switch owners and yeah i could make a like oh my gosh look at all these sales you know how many sales were happening over the last two weeks like do you even know there were so many sales happening i didn't think it was worth even covering it because the moment you make a video about look at these sales on switch games there's already like 10 billion new sales happening and your data, your information's out of date by just by the time you're editing the video, let alone by the time you release it, and by the time you guys actually get a notification and come watch it, yeah, that information's already out of date and there's already new sales. You can't really keep up with it in this sort of format. Now, if I was doing a live news show every single day, that's a little different, and maybe, I don't know, we tune in tomorrow. I do have a video planned uh, to come out tomorrow talking about our plans for 2022 and beyond. Uh, and maybe some ideas that will float out there if we can hit certain goals. That being said, um, yeah, you guys let me know what you think about this information down in the comments below. I am Nathaniel Robo Dance from Nintendo Prime. Uh, this is the last video today, no live stream or anything. We probably will do a live stream tomorrow for New Year's Eve, but otherwise, uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video.